Hi, uh, we have Aydin Sharma with us today. Uh, uh, Aydin uh, is our CUET student and he has cracked the uh, 100 percentile in five subjects, which includes English, you know, then uske baad accounts, eco, business studies and mathematics. He has also scored 99.9 .9 percentile uh, plus in GT as well. So missed it by a very, very small margin there. So uh, congratulations to you, Aydin. Uh, for this, what, uh, you know, what is the secret recipe uh, behind your success in CUET? Yes, sir. So the first thing I would like to talk about is that uh, I, I focused on all parts of the syllabus, whether they were included in our school uh, curriculum or not. So I think that made the difference, especially in accounts. And sir, I was a student of uh, mathematics and accounting at uh, CL crash course. So there we discussed topics which were not discussed in school. So I think th uh, from there I had a basic foundation of those topics and that helped me to solve those questions which were from those topics, which otherwise I would have left. And that is why I could skip some difficult questions. And that really helped in uh, making sure that I, I did not make mistakes. So second thing was that CL also has very good mock series. So I used to regularly do it for uh, difficult subjects like maths and accounts and which helped me to gain practice because in mathematics, there is still an element that you will uh, be short on time because they they have uh, uh, 45 questions there. So I think uh, with mock test series also helps. So I think these two are the main factors. Were you expecting that there are 5 subjects in 100% or it is, uh, or, or you know, you are expecting a good score, but not sure about 100% I was expecting a good score, but uh, sir, wo, shayad se, because it is choice based in CUET, so that is why there is a possibility that you get all right. But I think it is, I think a bit, bit of luck also because it is uh, five subjects. I didn't think 100%. Right, right, right. Very nice. So, so, kuch, kuch strategy batana chayega, I think, to the budding uh, aspirants of CUET, how will they prepare? How can they trace your paths? and get 100 percentiles in five subjects, six subjects. Correct, sir. So I think first strategy would be, I think, to start early because I started preparing for CUET after board exams. But now they they have a clear uh, path in mind. So earlier it, we were very skeptical what will happen in CUET because it was only the second edition. But now they have fairly uh, good idea. So they can start with uh, going through mock tests, etc. Uh, through websites such as CL has. So because CL's aspiration portal, I think, is very good in that respect because it has a lot of tests uh, with vocabulary and mathematics. So I think they should start early, even when they are in class 12th or 11th, they can at least start vocabulary and English because I think gradually the level of CVT exams will improve. And at that point, it will be uh, like you have to start early, like you start early for engineering exams. So I think we should start early there. And so second point I think is we should be very focused from the early on on the courses we want to target. For example, if someone is uh, wanting to go for economics honor, so they should have a criteria that maths is compulsory. If someone wants to do BPS and they should also look at general tests. So I think we should uh, anticipate what courses we want to do and accordingly we can enroll in uh, various institutions and do mock tests. So we have to start early and practice more so. I think so that's a very important tip from Aiden. Start early, stay ahead, and that is something which each one of us must do. Okay, so thank you, Aiden. Thank you for such valuable insights. Uh, thank you, sir. Uh, I hope you do very well. Uh, Aiden is uh, keen to join uh, SRCC or Stephens uh, uh, and uh, wants to pursue CA uh, at a later stage. So all the best to you, Aiden. And, uh, Thank you very also, much. Also, I would like to thank all the CL faculty because uh, their first of all, the, the basic thing is that their portal is very good. So, aspiration portal, we can practice a lot. And then also in classes, also we are able to clear concepts and doubts. And the books also they provided were very good, uh, apart from the guidance that they give. So, I, I am very grateful to CL for their support. Uh, okay, I think one very important data, if you can share, how many mocks uh, did you attempt? Uh, you know, what were there, what, you know, how many mocks were offered and how many you would have attempted? Sir, so uh, for, uh, I think I did uh, 10 mocks for mathematics through Career Launcher's website. 
and uh, did five to six marks for accounting. So, but for business studies and economics, I did not do much because they are mostly theoretical. But for maths, English, maths and English, I did almost ten marks. Ten marks from okay. books. Yes, sir. So, so I uh, so I think uh, writing mock helps. And yes, uh, so you used to analyze those mocks as well after writing. Where have you gone wrong? What are the yes. areas of improvement? Concepts. Yes. So there are there is facility after you write mocks on aspiration portal that uh, you can uh, understand whether the answer is right or wrong and you also get percentile. So I okay. think uh, it is uh, you can analyze from there only. And apart from mocks also you can do other tests which are there like uh, the f tests on small concept like reading comprehension etc. Because every time you cannot start a new mock it will take too long a time sir. Correct. So those those tests we can also do. Shorter test, sprints, yes. test were yes. also there. Right, right, right. So, how close were your, uh, you know, mock percentile to the actual percentile? This mock percentile were not very good because uh, mocks. Uh, I got ninety nine percentile in one or two times, but most of the time it was uh, fairly normal. But uh, I think I was uh, doing them from the start, so that is why they improved gradually. But I think we should not worry about the percentile from the start. It is just about uh, giving them again and again and making sure our concepts are clear so that will help very nice so, so you know so very important message coming here from Aiden is start taking mocks your percentile initially might not be very great but by the time you start writing you know and over a period of time the percentile improves which is a very very important thing so bahut bar bache dar ke ke likhte nahi hai mocks jab tak pura syllabus nahi ho jayega revision nahi ho jayega okay that's a very yes. important thought for you great Aiden so thank you very much. Thank All you. the best. Thank okay. you. Sir. Stay in touch. Whatever help you need, we are there. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thanks a lot. Bye bye. All the best.